I like that if you take three triangles and tape them together, the empty space just begs to be filled with another triangle. If you start with four triangles, like so, the empty space seems to beg for a square, but I'd rather make something green for the time being. Looks like I can fill the gaps by adding four more triangles, like so. Putting five triangles together begs for a pentagon, but I'd rather stick with one color per shape for now. I could close the open end with five more triangles, but the resulting shape seems somewhat unsatisfying. When I look at this corner, I see five triangles that come together, but this corner over here only has four triangles that meet. My first shape is all triangles, and each corner has three triangles around it. My second shape is all triangles, and each corner has four triangles around it. This new shape is all triangles, and each corner has five triangles around it. Putting six triangles at each corner doesn't work very well for making 3D shapes, and two triangles at each corner really doesn't work either. If you try with squares, three squares at each corner makes for a nice cube, four squares at each corner makes a bathroom floor, and two squares just doesn't work. And with pentagons, three pentagons at each corner works out nicely, four is too many, and two is not enough. By the time I get to hexagons, I'm out of luck. Two isn't enough, and three is too many. And heptagons, octagons, and all the rest suffer the same fate. I guess that means it's time to move on to shapes with two colors. Catch me in the next video for more.